Hello, good evening, and hello, Welcome. good evening, and to the stream, <laughs> he said, with the double going on. What are we now? 1080p? 1080p is... Did it, that's very good. Okay. Uh, what else do we want? We want to get logged in to the game. Claimed reward of second tier trader gloves. Uh, not really, no. <laughs> right, we need to social media eyes as well. Uh, yeah, not early stream today. Would have been nice if we could have done, but no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Afraid not. Uh, not always possible. And I'm doing the social metering without saying I'm doing the social metering. Zinzig, welcome to the stream. Daylights 97, welcome to the stream. Yes, indeed. And Sil Joe Russell, straight in with the funnies. What have we got this time? Let's have a look. Actually, let's get to the live screen. No. Wrong one. Right, okay, now we can look at it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and the little one in the wheel. I don't think the little one in the wheel was all that happy about that. I'm going to be honest now, I don't think so. And game capture is broken. Yay. <sighs> Come on, game capture. You can do it. Hell gear with the emote. Coco PvP Jr., welcome to the stream. Game capture, why you no working? Right, fine, it's not going to work. Oh, Jesus. Streamlabs is a turd. I wouldn't mind if it if it forgot settings after an update or, or something, but nope. Just for no reason whatsoever, it just decides, nope. You're in 160p land today. There we go. Hello, 160p. <laughs> We're we're in big, big mode there. 
Phil Joe Russell with another one. Bananas are not trees. There's no wood in them. They're actually giant herbs, and bananas is actually a berry. This is true, yeah, they're not trees. I remember learning that and going, what, really? But apparently so. It's a thing. I'm going to add a third one. Um, new game capture. I'm trying to get this stupid software to do what it's supposed to do. Right, so what I've just done there is capture a brand new game capture with the exact identical settings to the one I normally have. But I Oh, I thought it had worked. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> it looked like it suddenly started working, but it's not. Oh, God. Never mind. Uh, did I get a daily while I'm faffing around here? Yeah, I did. Okay. How's the MA Trader working? Um, last time I played was Wednesday, and yeah, it seems pretty good. It feels sort of slightly weird. I think maybe because I've switched so drastically from one thing to another. Did I try turning it off and on again? Uh, about nine times, yeah. I know exactly how to fix it. Stop the stream, restart Streamlabs OBS, and it'll work. Why would I want to do that in the middle of a stream? This software's crap. Don't if you're gonna if you're gonna start streaming, do not use Streamlabs. There you go. <laughs> Free advertising for them. And welcome to the stream, Ends Lyric. Always nice to see you. Yeah, it it, it does feel pretty good, but I think. A lot of work to do on this tomb before it really feels somewhere near where I think it should be. It's the best way, like, I want to get this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing, you know? It's a little daft, but yeah. I can think of about 30, 40 things I want to get on it. Sylvia so Russell, oh, what a cute cat. It's a big chunker of a cat. I bet you hear that coming up and down the stairs. I'll bet money you can hear that coming up and down the stairs, yeah. And, oh wait, is Enz Lyric a person outside Discord that just put a laugh emoji on my images Bed? Uh, yeah but they're not called ends lyric on why can't you all just pick the same name where you know for for everything that would be so simple but no <laughs> they do not nobody does that yeah ends lyric fixer fixer you're in gal yeah Yes, they play the game. You've seen them. Not a laugh emoji. JJ Legrando 21. Hey, Carlos, how are you this Friday? I'm pretty good. Right, we've got another thing. Another daily thing. Smoky salamander skin. 
first aids. I need to go get some first aids. Let's see, where's my first aid at? I should get some better ones. I can get 11.22, I guess. They're, them's garden ones, aren't they? Let's meep back to the garden. Reading a story to a little boy while listening to the stream. Well, don't start repeating what I say. You'll give him nightmares. You'll think, what the hell's wrong with her? What is she saying? <laughs> Planning any raids today? No idea just yet. We've got dailies to do. Any any raids? Tofei. <laughs> What's Tofei? Possibly. I don't know. Um... There you go. So quality 100. There you go. He goes 175. They need 13, 12. Can't do. Really, only 145s. That'll do. Where are we? Okay, so we got some first aids as well. So I'm going to go, I think, dailies first. We'll figure the rest out thereafter. Uh, there's a few things we could do. We've got uh, quests and things in Inferno. There is, of course, the DB quest, but that's quite a long sort of evening and would need outside help, obviously. Do your hunting. Start from this end. For a change. It's basically the same bunch of mobs, but yeah. Everybody lag now. Boom, 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 boom. Apparently, yes, lag time has arrived. You can log log a dock for that. That would be uh, that would be useful. Yeah, I've not even talked to the any NPC to even start the quest yet. Dragonall, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. you okay. Siljo Russell. Um, I can't post this without Savik here, but okay, I guess the rest of her folks need a little cute cat as well. Mm-hmm. That's not a regular cat. What the hell is that? Doing leveling on shade. Nice. Come to me, my pretty Sompos. Uh, hello? There you go. Then you don't, unless Savik log in, then you don't need my dog. Well, that's if Savik wants to play this evening. They may not do, you see. They don't always. And before anyone asks, no, there's no aliens today. No, there's no aliens tomorrow. I'm simply wearing Space Invaders t-shirt today. Because it still fits.
Yeah, so I'll be, I don't know. Did a little upgrade on my Engie today. Oh, right. What did you do? What did you... What was it you did to your Engie? Welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? Always good to see you. <laughs> Run over and started buffing me. I saw the cyber deck and thought, oh well. <laughs> Oh, right. Beaters change from pistols to grenade. All oh, right. Okay. I <laughs> think someone, <laughs> someone wants to be on the stream. I don't know. Mm, might be a bit late to the party for some of us around here. Feral Vortex Void. Go sleep. I have Santa's little helper here, I think. <laughs> or something like that. Change for grenade. I, don't, I did try grenade on mine. I preferred the um, pistol, but... You know, horses for courses, horses for courses. Yay! Doja! Quick as that. You go back to sleep. Okay. Pew! So I've got various bits for Inferno Tours. Yeah, it's some sort of wildcat, that, wasn't it? It was big. It had big fangs on it. It's like a saber tooth house cat. <laughs> There's no such thing, I know, I'm just saying. It had big incisors. Right click the doja. And we hand it in. I found a doja chip in Inferno. Goodbye. Right, so what was the other one? Scavenger, Perpetual Wastelands. Skulloving Anguish, one hand blood. Oh yeah, that is nice. If only it was 800 in that crit, not 300. Boreal Blade of Innerback, one hand edge. It's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Yeah, I felt like I was struggling on the last stream, and it turns out that's probably... That's probably because I had my Agbar in the middle instead of full death. Impressed your daughter today. She was struggling making big soap bubbles for some photos her here and a friend wanted to take. So I mixed up some soap and cooking oil and made bubbles bigger than them. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need to... For the real... Yeah. I 
I saw a guy and he used to do, he was like a street entertainer in London and he used to do bubbles with a cigarette and make a square bubble and things like that. He's really good. Um, and he had like a regular spot and we'd see him on the, on the tube and all that. Or, you know, not inside the tube, you know, up on the street. And I can remember saying, like, oh, I tried that and it just, um, it wouldn't work. You know, every time I put smoke in it would pop. And he said, you need oil in the water. So it's like, what kind of oil? He says, oh, a teaspoon of cooking oil. And I was like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, it's a bit of a trade secret, isn't it? It's not, um, I suppose, in the uh, era of YouTube and social media, maybe not so much, but back back before the internet, it kind of was. I would not have figured it out. I would have thought, oh, it must be... It was not a trade secret. It was the first thing I learned as a prop maker back in the day. Yes, but making props is sort of trade... You know, it's like the special effects trade secret. All trade secret really means is people that don't do this sort of thing don't know how it all works. <laughs> Which is less of a thing you know, um, post internet and YouTube tutorials and, you know, that sort of thing. So now there's like way more uh, information out there for people to get hold of and learn, you know, than, than there ever was before. Yeah, it's been a busy week. So, my son has started at uh, military prep college. It's what he wanted to do. And he, they don't, you're not kind of like locked in. You don't have to join if you join a military prep college. But what they do do is teach you the way, you know, the military will teach you things. <laughs> They're very good at teaching you stuff. Um, so we'd rather be there doing it their way and also training for that sort of thing anyway. And the likelihood is he, he probably will sign up. It's, it, it, it's something he's sort of been constant with him since he was about, I don't know, since he's about 12. So, you know. Anyway, yeah, so we started there, but the first week we couldn't sort out anything for trains with him and that. Uh, so I've been... Lag. So I've been ferrying him there every morning and then going all the way back and picking him up every sort of early, you know, early, late afternoon. I've done some miles. God. <laughs> it adds up. He's enjoying it. That's the main thing. Military educations is one of the best. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it'd do him, even if he decides after two years there, goes, I don't want to sign up. Even if he doesn't, you know. Um, yeah, build for military specs. They want you to stay away from it as it saved every single cent so they can do on it. When you see build for military specs, you want to stay away from this. It's saved every single cent. Um, I suppose it depends where. Now, if he goes on and become does engineering with the um, with the air force, he'd follow in his great grandfather's footsteps because that's what my grandfather was. My father's father uh, was a Spitfire Spitfire engineer and general engineer in the RAF. He'd remake the wooden propellers and, and fix them when they got shot down. <laughs> you know, as long as they could find enough of of the plane was left, he'd, they'd have to put it back together. 
One of the, one of the reasons uh, the Nazis thought Britain had way more planes than it actually did was we just kept putting them back together and sending them back up in the sky. Right, I need a bag. To put the quest things in. There we go. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of one generation that never did. <laughs> Every other generation. Um everyone in the family signed up. I was I was I was the kind of black sheep. I'm not signing up, I wanna be a professional musician. <laughs> You did your intern time in the military, yeah. I think it'll be. I think it'll do him the world of good, and ultimately, you know, he will get a lot out of it. I think. only person at work under 60 that knows how to wire wrap panels wire wrap panels i see an evil ominous spy in the grid i just can't tab him there he is dun 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 he has been spotted yes he has <laughs> so when he comes on and says hello from omni <coughs> excuse me um, from wherever you go. No, you're not. You were in the grid. We we all seen you on. So there. <laughs> it's just like you know. Lies. We all saw you in the grid at um, forty nineteen forty four hours. Wire wrap panels. I can't remember what that is, but I might know myself. <coughs> I don't know any um, technical engineers now, or electronic engineers now, that still know about the old equipment I used to work on. The old CRTs, VR, you know, VCR, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that connection will last as long as the materials it's made from. Literally, if anybody's looking and thinking about it. Literally last as long as the connections. They do it too loose. No, no, you've got to... It's got to grab. And grab all the way around. The amount of guitars that, that I see that the strings are not wound on, the, are just not put on properly and they won't stay in tune and they can't figure out why. And, and then I have to show them, this is how you wind the string on. You know, they, they've got like 50 winds on, <laughs> on an unwound string. You're like, it needs more than the wound ones, but it don't need that many. If you've got that many, then it can all move. And if it can all move, it won't stay in tune. So, yeah. And we're going for diseased prisoner. I'm suddenly spontaneously inspired to go for that one. I remember doing making PCBs and stuff. The hydrochloric acid, 
um, etch pens or and such. All all done by hand. I can even thinking about it remember the smell. Because the hydrochloric acid would just be granules and you'd you know. And you're supposed to follow the instructions for that particular brand, like if it says, you know, two mounded tablespoons to a litre of water, that's what you make. Nothing you don't put three in or five in thinking it'll make the job go faster you put in what it tells you to put in otherwise you put it in the bath and it comes out and there's just nothing left there's just goo at the bottom of the bath yeah that's it yeah a wire wrap uh, won't come off I mean it may get loose under re an extreme amount of heat but then, as it cools, it'll just end up gripping even tighter, so... It won't come loose enough to fall off, that's for sure. Not, not unless you've got extreme heat and extreme uh, vibration. There's no way that's coming off, and it would need to be able to come right off the top as well. So if you, if you, do you bevel top the, uh, the tops as well? Like flatten them out so they're like the head of a nail. Why is it the entire day my nose is completely fine and then I sit down to do a stream and all of a sudden <laughs> I start getting sneezy. Is game capture working? No, it's not. <laughs> Never had a wire get loose. Yeah, if you do, I mean, maybe sometimes inside a vehicle or something, but it's pretty rare. Too dry in the streaming gnome room. Um, I've not been in here much today at all. need to remember I didn't give myself our, our FE oh well in for a penny I suppose It could be that it's too dry in here, I don't know. Came home today, finished slightly early today, so we... Mrs. Callus too came with me. She's off today. Um, then we went shopping at the end, and I had a lasagna for two. <laughs> oven, oven ready thing, you know. It says for two, but clearly one person can enjoy it, you know. <laughs> Need to stop doing that sort of thing, but yeah. Then I went for a quick nap, you know, because, uh, old man. Now, actually, having um, a quick nap after food is actually healthy. A lot of countries, it's the norm. Does your flag run out? Oh. 
I'll get you for the kill. And yes, I will take longer to kill probably than you, but I don't want to be flagged, so... Yeah, it could be that it's dry in here. Or maybe I need to do some dusting in here. <laughs> I don't know. It could be either, really, couldn't it? Always feels kind of hot in here during the summer. And I know people go, it's only 20-something degrees, and I'm like, yeah, you know, humid it is where I live. <laughs> I remember when I, after living in London it always uh, whenever I came up back to North Wales on a visit or whatever it always felt a lot colder or a lot hotter I could never quite figure out why it's the humidity It is dryness. I mean, I looked at the, the foam on the end of this. Does that need cleaning out or something? You know, has it picked up a lot of dust or whatever and now it's right underneath my nose or something like that? But that well, seems all right. This is where a phone system. That's a, also a wire wrap it's done in many places in office building. They will check that out momentarily. Keep an eye on what I'm doing here. It's not like I can I can just queue AFK on mobs on this tune. But a bit of attention is needed. part with the keeper. Yeah, kind of, yeah. It was also the good part for streaming because I, I could spend a lot of time reading the chat and everything. Have a look. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember having to fix things like this. A big ass 
lead solder in there. <laughs> and all the flux. Yeah, that looks kind of familiar. Cool. The bus wires are usually soldered, yeah. Right, we talk to the warden, and then we can also hand in the freelancers, I think. That mouth indomitus is no longer thingy. Totally joinking your prisoner tokens. I forgot to go to the warden. That's just something you learn in the military. Yeah, yeah. Stains is me again. I'll take the green. Goodbye. moment someone's running away or at least they're high level <laughs> they're being outrun senior agency handler can i have my reward now please and we should be freelancers complete yay go off and make a quick cup of tea before we do anything else after this we will see I am quite thirsty Mr. Ralph. Yay. Not as much XP as I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping for a sneaky ding there, but we didn't get it. I think we should still have... Or maybe we don't. Oh yeah, we do. Feral Vortex Voids. And we did a lot of the pre-farming for that quest as well. Um, less than 13 has moved. <laughs> Transformers in the UK used to come with those pins on them and you wire to them like that. The military doing that on almost everything 
because it's something that can be done out in the field without making a heat signal in solder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it, you can do it when the power goes up. Exactamundo. Okay, we're just waiting on the timer on that one. And I am going to go make a cup of tea, but in the grand tradition of intermissions, we will put on the intermission thing. Yes, we will. That's <laughs> a mess. I shall be right back.
Yes, I am back. Yes, I've still, for some reason, started sneezing. Oh. Why is my hair doing this? Actually, let's try and do a hairband. <laughs> Not gonna work. Uh, yeah, definitely need a haircut. Lady Sky Cannon. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Ooh, ICC planet wide announcement. Uh, Tum, oh, Tut. Tatum has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defence of Rubicar. <laughs> Gamel 0007. Welcome to the stream. Hello, my beer friends. Are we? Are you out on the town availing yourself of the goodness? Uh, do I want to go through all? Yeah, we'll, we'll renew some of these buffs. Sampling a Guinness or two. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> You can't, you can't just have one and call it done. No, 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 no. That, that's not how it works. And... Llewellyn. I will look at your link momentarily. Let me get this bump log done. Okay, there's one done. What's this? Twitter dudes posting WS status. Okay. <laughs> cool Alberto53 subscribe with Prime let's subscribe for three months thank you for the resub much appreciated so he's got like a fly line on his rod there or something similar and letting the little kid softball it and then just wheeling it back. <laughs> Where are you? Are you at home? You're on the laptop. I can see that. Uh, Gamel. Lolzia, afternoon. Good afternoon, Lolzia. How the devil are you? Uh, what else do I want to rebuff? I've got that, but no cost. I should give myself cost as well. Yes, I should. Let's do that. Oh, I'll give myself a couple of others as well. Just thought. Going to Shadowlands. Shade, uh, shade run buff. And yeah, so we're rebuffing. I'm gonna go and try and do the feral vortex voids. Should be okay, actually. It's, uh, I think. I think. No, I'm not 100 percent on that. Let's 
Smelling in shadow. One of those. I think I landed two there. Pattern of approaching death. That's um, needed for a couple of different things, isn't it? Can redo the cost and then, in essence, a beer moth. I'm going to get two stacked and ready to go. Let's see if we can do them. Okay. This would be so much easier if you didn't automatically get the stupid login window thing in the fecking way of everything as soon as you log in. Right in the middle of your, you know, where you can see and all that kind of stuff. So kind annoying. Hate that. Like, when it's there, I'm like, why? Why right there, right in the centre? You know, it's jarringly horrible. It's like those parking places that put the ticket right in the field of view of the driver. It should be illegal to do that. If the driver's unable to remove it, poses quite a bloody hazard. Right, OK, I think, I think that's going to do it. Well, I'm here, buff my... Of my other NT. <laughs> I haven't really played much of late. You have to crash enough in ICC and the window won't open anymore for that day. If you close it um, on that character, whenever you log that character back in, it doesn't come up. So I think you can probably edit the XML file and stop it from ever, ever showing up unless you open it yourself. But I haven't figured out how. Because I've stayed on very late on a character before now, uh, grinding, and I've been doing Inferno missions. And in the middle of the mission, as I've zoned inside the mission, it suddenly opened again. So it's like it's on a timer of some kind. Which is why the bugger is always there when you log in, if you know what I mean. Why? That happens if you're... Yeah, so there's some kind of um, thing that goes on that causes it, but I don't know what it is. Reappears at zero GMT, yeah, zero hundred hours. I'm sure you could you could force it to never do it. If you could figure out what file it's it's looking at a timer on. And then change the timer to, you know, 1972 or something like that. No, it's not time zone related. No, I didn't mean time zone. It's related to your computer clock. Yeah, well, we used to get around... Um, perk resets with um, changing the clock on computers so <laughs> let's make inferno less gloomy yeah it's local time so it it does it every 24 hours that thing appears 
and you know tries to send you to the money shop which is extremely rare i'll buy anything out of that shop claim things yeah but i don't need to see it every day i know it's there i th i think it's related to once the character's locked, you know, so it must be something you could change in the settings that says that that character's already been logged on. Yeah, if you if you reset the BIOS clock, like literally went in the BIOS and did it, it would uh, spoof the client. And you, so you just change the date. And then you could put reset again. You know when it used to take like however many days? Or whatever the ridiculous timer they originally had. Yeah, three months, which is stupid. Absolutely stupid. So um, people found a way around it. It wasn't widely known and nobody really talked about it. Quite possibly for obvious reasons. Because <laughs> once Funcom found out, they, they got rid of it working that way. But then they also uh, shortened the timer drastically and then they added the perk reset guy because they were like you know what they're just going to do it anyway <sighs> calm you guys all over here Away from where I'm be working. <laughs> yeah, we worked on XP, I know that. So it's the strikers first for these guys, I think. Yep. It was definitely a naughty, and pe but people did it because the, the original timer was just stupid. Oh, I want to equip an item. I need to swap some perks around. Oh, it's going to take three months. Fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is effing stupid. So, of course, people tried to see if it what timer it was running on and figured out, oh, it's running on system time. Okay. Log out, change the BIOS date, log back in. In order to keep her with treatment and stat perks is bloody useless. Huge waste of time. Yeah, remember people wouldn't come raiding for months. Oh, uh, you, you coming to the raid? Oh, I'm doing perk resets. So it was, it was stupid and game-breaking that it was introduced with that kind of timer on it. So then they reduced it to like um, 24 hours or something like that or, or whatever it used to be and then they reduced it to two hours but you could always um, get around it anyway and then they introduced the guy reset all my perks it was just much too simple to do it that way then God almighty I wonder if it is this microphone then. It might be the foam on the end of the mic or something. I'm going to take it off and wash it. Had it on there for a, a num well, a couple of years now. I think. When did I get it? Or maybe 2020? I can't remember exactly. I could look it up, but... I remember I ordered the arm and the foam on the same order. I think. I think that's what I did. Yeah, but I, I remember it, yeah. I do. I remember I remember going through it and going, oh, I'm perk resetting, you know. So it was a massive, pointless time sink. So, of course, people looked for a way around it and they found one. But yeah, it wasn't ever, nobody ever posted about it on forums and things, I think. I think they once they found it, they went, let's just not tell everybody. 
Because what's going to happen is, you know, it's going to become too widely known. It's going to get back to Funcom and they'll, they'll block us doing it or something. So, yeah, people just kept them. I'm not the one that you would use exploit who would have done that. Yeah. Well, it, it's like bump logging. That's been in the game since 2001. Buffing one tune with another is has always been a thing. In fact, early on, you, you could log two characters in. Picked up an ad over there. Come you. Ah, crowd control, the great leveller. Well, makes life easier anyway. <laughs> yeah. I I didn't know I'd done a couple of perk resets getting gear in. And it was only when I said, oh, blah, 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 someone went, Psst, by the way. I'll message you on the forums. And they messaged me on Storm's forums. And they wouldn't even tell me in-game what it was. And said, yeah, just reset, just reset the, the BIOS clock on your board like a year ahead or whatever you want, you know. It'll unlock. Like, no way. Turn off all Windows Auto time and do it. So I did it and went, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, quickest reset I'd ever done in my life. It still took like an hour because you were constantly locking off, logging on and off. I mean, this is it. People, generally speaking, will come up with a way around something that is a complete waste of time from their point of view so if you if, if what game devs need to do is oh people just want to we'll try and figure a way around this so why is it there in the first place what what function is it serving what's it stopping people doing it wasn't making people overpowered to get around it you know at all it was just speeding up the twinking process Oh, we've got all the ads. Not good. Let's try and calm a few. Before we're dead. I don't think he will calm, though. No, he's not going to, is he? But also, he'll reset. I don't think he's going to follow me everywhere. He might, though. <laughs> oh, come on, my dude. Go reset. Fonch subscribed with Prime. Thank you for the resub, Fonch. Subscribe for five months. Thank you. Love this stream, working on my first paid trader. Shotgun or something else? Entirely up to you. My first uh, trader was shotgun. Uh, this one is my second trader, so I'm doing something different. But, you know, you can do whatever it is you feel like doing. There's no right and wrong. I mean, it's easier to make a shotgun trader but initially you start out get as far as dogs of war and then you sat on them for quite a while till about god knows it's there to milk the subscription time yeah exactly it, it's stupid though it's a stupid way to do it it just it just i mean it, it even it works against itself because instead of getting people to stay in game, what it'll do is they'll go, oh, well, I won't sub next month because I'm still waiting on the timer when it used to be like weeks. 
Or they'd go, oh, I want to do um, betas or alphas on this character, but no way am I going through all that again, so I'm just going to quit. That's what would happen. So it was a stupid solution to a problem that didn't exist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Too many, too much of that in this world. Ah, now my character is the way I want them with the gear on them that I want on them. I think I'll carry on playing. You know, it's really short-sighted coming up with things like that. No, no deep, no, you know, kind of follow-through thinking there at all. They've just gone, make something take longer to do, then they'll have to play for longer. It's like, it doesn't always work like that, though. You can push people away from the game entirely by doing that. So it's just not a good solution. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want to do that, but I'm not waiting that long to do it. I'm gone. You know, you, your show has got to be pretty good to get people to camp for weeks on end to see it. So it's an arrogant way of doing things as well. You're assuming that the product you're selling is so good people will put up with that shit. And they won't. There's other options, you know. Most didn't sub for a month and then they just never came back, yeah. That's why they shortened it in the first place. When I did a perk reset, it was alts time, yeah. Well, I was, I'd done... I think I'd got as far as resetting four things and someone said, oh, you can do this, you know. I was like, oh my God. Well, I'm doing it, you know. Okay, we go in for Mr. Soothers. Yeah, dumbass idea. Truly dumbass idea. Yeah, back in the days when 220 was an accomplishment. Yeah, exactly. It was. I remember 200 being an accomplishment. When my first tune hit 200, I got, you know, loads, loads of people. Oh my God, you did it. You got two, you got 200. You know, and like being amazed. Okay, this, this soother doesn't know where he stands. Literally. Yeah, not everybody wanted a twink, yeah. I want to make... Oh, wow, yeah. It's bigger on the inside. No, it's lots of mirrors and such. It's really cool, though. Yeah. Mom does not know where it's going. <laughs> you wanted to test your enforcer when you smacked him into Intelli Sims, not wait for a month. Yeah, exactly. So it was completely stupid. I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad a more sensible solution exists. Because the, the old solution was just, it was just really stupid and pointless. It really didn't help anyone. It didn't help the game. It didn't help the population. It didn't help subscriber retention. Uh, it didn't help, um, in, you know, it didn't improve the enjoyment or quality of life in the game. It was just, it was just a really stupid, bad idea from day one. It was never anything else. Okay, now you've decided to come.
Elite, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. We are continuing on with the Inferno Tours quest. We're doing okay so far, all things considered. Lady Sky can and just so you know, I might not be on much tomorrow. My best friend from school has decided to come down and see me. She's like, nice. No, go out and enjoy, enjoy your time with your friend. Definitely. Real life first, always. I see a soother. Come to me. I'm not coming over there. Because the last time I did that, you brought all your friends. Come nah, on. Don't be shy. He's aggroed on me, but he's not coming. Lightweight. Like your friend. Yeah, you see, your friend's not a scaredy cat. Still gonna die, but... Striker, you can go. Thank you for... Thank you for your interest. We'll let you know. No other green dudes anywhere. Apart from that one right next to the one that can't be calmed. Oh, is he stuck behind the rocks? Come on there. There you go. You got here. Strikers. Yeah, the movement seems really kind of messed up. Ah, the mind breakers on me again. And you calmed yourself. Well done, you idiot. Do we know what's inside the mysterious chest in Crypt of Home? Yeah, I think so. I think it's fairly well known. I can't remember what it is. It's on the AOU thing. I don't think it's anything that amazing, though. Yeah, it'll be on AOU. No, I don't know. I, 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 I don't, but thank you, Sky Cannon. I want to get a feel for this. They want the challenge. <laughs> and you're down. Okay, so now I actually want the mind breaker thing. Respawn's pretty good on these dudes, I have to say. Are you 
grey. Okay. Um, I'll renew the calm on you. Ah, oh, the very thing. Alright, is he going to be ten times harder than the others or something? Hopefully not. What's a good way to level through bolts with the help of a paid account? Um, depends what what you've got as a, on your paid account. And if they're in level range or not. So all the ads. Summon your ads. It won't help you. I will destroy you. Welcome to the stream. Hello, wise wolf of Rubicar. How is thou? Thou is all right, me mate. I is all right. Yeah, this thing definitely hits harder than the others. I think we're going to be all right, though. Has damage. I've got a very strong dimash. Given it's 15 minutes cooldown, it's or 30 minute bloody cooldown on a regular tune, it's like hardly worth it. <laughs> I tell you what, I am too bloody hot at the moment. Off tank with the M4 kite, imp, kiting with the NT. Yeah, if you've got if you've got all those tunes, yeah. Oh, did you respawn or something weird happened there? Never mind. Fluff off. How did it just come out of nowhere? God damn it. That was nowhere near here and it just suddenly, without moving its legs, came zoning into me. Probably one of the ones I calmed in, or I calmed outside but actually normally exists here. Yay. Yeah done. Yeah, there's loads of different ways you could do it. Like, you could go and use a big enforcer, grab a ton of um, mobs, hold them while the other tunes, you know, kill them. Yeah, if you can kite, they, they, that'll be about the quickest, I would say. Right, let's go report to Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards. Got rid of the feral vortex voids for you. What is it this time? Oh, why? Whatever. Let me find the bag I put all the junk in. 
I did have it with me. Oh yeah, there you go. More shimmerers. There we go. Ding. Two twelve. Right, there we go. So we want Ember Shimmer Tooth. I finally managed to get the Ember Shimmer Tooth. There you go. Soto Mohoni, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Smoky Salamanders. Oh, I didn't do the coal lizard. I forgot to do the... Yeah, I, did, I haven't done the coal lizard yet. I don't think. If I did, I don't know where I put the... Uh, the skin for it. Damn. They're not unique though, are they? Go and find another coal lizard quick. Yeah, I'm sure I've done that before. Kited um if they're in level range you can do quite a lot if you can once you learn to kite really. And kiting's, you can't really, no one can really teach it to you. You've just kind of got to go and try and do it and then you get a feel for how to keep things in a tight, neat little ball and <laughs> and all that kind of stuff, you know. There is kind of a rhythm to it and keeping an eye on, like, toward the end you're going to get some of the mobs, like the mob you've been hitting in the middle is going to start slowing down, which means the nothing is running not everything is running at the same speed so you have to switch targets some of the time just to try and get them all back into a nice round cluster you know Welcome to the stream. Waves Hurricane. Back in my days, we had no Twitch host telling us how to kite, so we just an NT screaming in fear, casting whatever we could cast behind us. Well, yeah, you'd watch people do it and try and figure it out, and then occasionally someone would post a video of it, and but with no explanation of what was actually going on, and you know. Oh, we'll take the quick way back. <laughs> One lag. Yeah, that's it. Fear is the best professor. <laughs> You're hearkening. But yeah, fear is, it can be a good teacher. Necessity, you know, people go... What was going through the head of the first person that thought, let's drink that or eat that? I'll tell you. <laughs> that was going through their head. Um, necessity. That's what was going through their head. What will you offer me for these skins? I'm glad we can ensure the skins are worth more than that. I accept the offer. Right, he's going to give me some piece of crap now, I think. Yay for more XP! Now, tell me about the challenge. I think this is Zark and Razor now.
Yeah, who licked a frog first to see it? Well, they probably didn't deliberately lick it. Probably tried to eat it. Yeah, Zark and Razor. The eye is for the other quest. Out of will catalog books and... Murdaluguru. Acid spitter, yeah. It's trader, but it's kind of terrible. <laughs> three second attack, three second recharge. Slow. Are any world bosses up at the moment, by the by? Or do you up anytime soon? Could go look at some of those. No answer came the reply. Yeah, like the frog mil milk the cow. There's loads of them, really. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Necessity. Didn't you watch Castaway? Faced with, the, you know, annihilation or trying things to stay alive, you know, and then it just becomes the norm thing to do. You might have licked it to see what the hell it tasted like. Possible tam in 20 minutes, possible ab mouth in 30 minutes. Which one's tam? I've forgotten. The big version of Tim. Yeah, that's the one. E Let's have a look. And do, 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 do. I'm not I'm not actually sure what section they put it under. Want to get that gamma ejector? <laughs> the gamma reaper. Savvy got one, didn't she? It is better, yeah. Higher crit. Yeah, it is a better weapon than the the other one. Than having an offhand, yeah. Piercing claw, slayer droid imbued claw. What oh, does have crit? If you're doing a crit build uh, shade, yeah. That's useful, yeah. The look of the gamma repeater makes you puke though. I've seen it on Savic, it doesn't look that bad. You're saying you're not a fan of how it looks. <laughs> Uh, 
Right, now we're back on Ruby Car and not stuck in gloomy inferno. There we go. Right out by the Nano Freak Village. Okay. We think possibly 20 minutes there. Maybe it's worth going and camping. Mihalik, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. You're too far away. Really? Got some lag tonight then. <laughs> that was nuts. You're too far away. You're too far away. How the hell closer do you want me to get? Just got in from the pool. Nice. What's the bet in the new engine crashes? Trying to go to longest road. Aha, we're alive! Well, we're going, they think, about 15 minutes-ish for a chance of spawn. But I don't think it's up yet, so we're just going to have a look now. I remember running all the way down the longest road to see where it went. I remember finding this place and wondering why it was here. Like, why? Why is that like that? What, what you know? And like these bits here with the funny, funny little mountains and things. It was like, why does any of this exist? <laughs> What's it for? Yeah, there's people hanging around here. There's a lot of Wayland Yutanias here. I don't think these are any problem for us, are they? No. I think they were at one time, though. Nate! God, I miss this game. Remember the hype when Shadowlands launched? The game was packed back then, waiting for BS mission groups outside tier. <laughs> outside ICC. <laughs> oh, Broken Shores missions, yeah. Up by the Southgate sign. Two terminals and two little buildings next to each other. And rolling missions to Broken Shores. Yep, remember it. And you try and jump on top of the sign to be cool. I remember I was evil. It was a noob I did not like, so I did invite him to the team. Went to the longest road at the end and warped him. He was level 28 or something in basic. I was tired of all the questions. <laughs> Left him in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I've beaconed people to the top of buildings and stuff. Gone, see ya. Jumped in the arm and flown off. <laughs> you remember all that? Well, while we're here, I'll log a different account. I'll log a little um, frube. And uh, we'll go to that spot so you can relive your, your memories. We're just waiting on a spawn now, which is kind of boring, so. 
Azul Reverie is still endgame. Fashion endgame, maybe, but nobody... Wear, no, paid, no. But Froob, yeah, people still wear it on Froobs. I'm wearing the tank armor just because I happen to have it, so... But with the birthday serpentine armor is better. In fact, old Athen probably looks quite a lot different than, than you would remember. It was just a hole in the ground with mission locations in it and then they restored it back to being a proper city. Plus tens up. That'll do nicely. Seven hours, thirty six minutes. More grass. Yeah, right, actual. Well, this is the beta engine. So you get actual grass, you see. That interacts with the player. You can turn it on and off on the new engine, but I quite like it. <coughs> you go, here's the Wampers. Storm's original hangout. Just round this post at Southgate or up on that platform mostly. Yeah, the music takes you straight back to those days, doesn't it? Does for me. I forget how much older I am. <laughs> Where's the superior shop? Where's the... I can't find the superior shop. There. <laughs> yeah, not exactly clear, but yeah. Falling down with something like that back in the day when you didn't have enough jump skill and being completely stuck there. I remember that as well. Da -da, there it is, the West Gate sign, the mission terminals, the wall where we would wait to form teams. Looking across at Computers Inc. And all the cool kids could land on the sign. The cooler kids could get up here. <laughs> Can't believe it's been 20 years, yeah. Okay, we got a mission to Broken Shores, okay. And then you'd all run. Like this. Hit the grid. Up to the second floor. Yeah, again, it's because it's the, the beta engine. So the, the, a lot of the lighting and stuff is, is different. And you'd appear here, like the water but is completely different on the new engine. And then try and figure out which of the thousand tiny little doors was the one that had your mission in it. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Hang on. No, it must be this one. No, it's not this one. No, it must be that one. No, it's not that one. Uh, it turns out like, no, oh, that's a shop. <laughs> and then you realise that you've still got a mission marker from ages ago and you're going to the wrong place. 
And they were like, no, it's on this side. It's, it's over here, halfway up. It'd be like one of them. One that always was confusing was that there was one over here. I remember on this. Yeah, this was it. There's that door there. And that door there. And you would never know which one it could be. <laughs> Neither one's working. And it'd be like, because it's that one. <laughs> Remember when Savick's first maps with markers came out, there were shops everywhere all of a sudden. Yeah, exactly. People just didn't know they were around, did they? How are we doing on the other guy? We're still waiting, no sign. Yeah, and then the Engi or someone would turn up in the mission and go, I know I'm going to have to go and get buffed and wrangled again. What? Why? What's the matter? Oh. <laughs> My pets disappeared in the grid. I have to go and get all these buffs just so I can cast them again. There you go. A little walk down memory lane for you. MP, I need I need to go and get moochums and a wrangle again. <laughs> it was that kind of deal. Yeah, that game capture just it ain't gonna work tonight. Keeps getting stuck. I don't know what causes it. Really don't. Other than once it starts doing it, you, 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 it's got to reboot. Yes, I won't obey you, Master. Uh, Moochums, something or other, has just run out. When Moochums only lasted an hour. A load of buffs got changed, like RR... You know, like the Fixer NCU buff? That used to be like 30 seconds. That's four hours now. Uh, RR, FE, Behemoth, um, all of that. Those useful buffs, they're all like four hours. So, you know, for most people, they can go on, get a bunch of buffs, and then they can play pretty straight solid for... You know, that many hours. Serpentine, yeah, if you got all the serpentine armor that auto levels up to 220, so you actually have to be 220 to use it, but on a Frub it's really good armor. Sneaking shoulder pads. They're quite nice. NCU, add all off, add all death, sneak attack, and aim shot. Evades. Inits. And some pretty respectable ACs, actually. For shoulder pads. For uh, super target scope 7. 201, though. Ranged in it for 200, crit increase for 3. You don't want a heavier scope. So it was Tam and... Who was the other one that was a maybe? Zal. He's a pain that I hate. I don't like Zal. <laughs> that, that one is a pain in the bum. Tam is alive. Tam has spawned. 
I ain't gonna go hit it, it'll kick my ass. Big Tim. <laughs> Reinstalling at the minute, worth another go while Steve Online is so fine. So f fire. Dire. Oh, right. I don't know. I've never played um, Eve, I don't know. I wouldn't know if it was good or on a good or bad, you know, period or not. Is Eve the one where you're a spaceship? Or or you're, you're playing a spaceship, essentially? I mean, obviously you're the person in the spaceship, but for the most part, it, you're just a spaceship. On screen. Yeah. It's, it's cool if you're into, you know, uh, space sims and that kind of thing. But I kind of never really have been, so... Everybody waiting for someone bigger to start the fight. Or is it is it 15 minutes cooldown? Immortal for 15 minutes, yeah. Used to be a great sci-fi sci MMO, but too much monetizer. I, all the adverts seem to be focused on the market. You know when you get adverts for it on on a, on a header advert for it on a YouTube video? Um, it seems to be focused on the game economy and how... Um, Cabals, you know, make loads of money out of conflict and war and all the rest of it. So, like, it's not, you're not advertising your game to me. Or you're not selling it to me. <coughs> you know, you're kind of putting me right off. <laughs> Have a look. I've got it on Steam, I think. It's free to play anyway, isn't it? Pretty mixed reviews, really. No big wars. Yeah, this is it. It just doesn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't. It just. It's just never appealed. It's never appealed. Gameplay video. When was that from? 2019. Uncensored. I see people I know play it and make videos of it, but I, I never watch their videos of it. Because I'm just like, yeah. Playing Eve in 2020, what's it like? Wee spaceship. And generic YouTube thumbnail. Stupid face and letters. And then stuff that's nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, there's a pop star called Eve now. Right, okay. I hate the I hate all this kind of stuff. Like if we do, um, I get I don't get as many now because I've been I've been working the um, working the algorithm against itself. New incognito window, YouTube. What does it show people from my area? Reject all. Yeah, always these guys. Always this guy. This exact image about 5,000 times. It's just repeated with different things behind it. Now this guy, I don't care who he is. I don't, I don't like him. Look, there they go. Exact same image. See the, look at this image. See this image? Will it make the thumbnails bigger? There we go. Right, see this image here? It's not, it's similar. It's exact, it's the exact same image. <laughs> and so... Many people do this. Third time, exact same picture of his face. Oh, and this this girl, yeah. Every other video. This is um, generic face number one.
Oh, look, there you go. He's pulling the exact same face. It's just trash. I hate those thumbnails. I just can't stand them. They're just great on me. There's that one. I bet it's about a thousand other one of his videos got the exact same picture of him. There we go again. And there you go. This is uh, exact same face, different hand as the other one. This is why I don't want to be a YouTuber. I don't want to be the person doing that. Uh, another one of these faces. Same face again. Same face again. Exact same picture again. You know, I just, I, I just despair. <laughs> I really do. And I refuse to watch any channel that does that. I do. It's a spreadsheet game. It's also really, really hard to get into. The learning curve is not a curve. It's cliff climbing into Mount Everest and you need to climb it without shoes or an oxygen tank. Then you need to get ganked and all your stuff is burned to the ground and when you reach base camp one but a bunch of suicide gankers will destroy your stuff at any financial loss because the, for them it's all about tears farming yeah sounds like a fun game that <laughs> yes I waved back and you missed it I'm just waiting for someone to kill it, so, you know, I can just be a total leech and go down there. It's also the shining example of why game companies should never let their own player base balance their games. That makes sense. That, re that really does make sense, yeah. Should never let them, <coughs> excuse me, try and do it. <laughs> that was disgusting, I apologise. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I thought, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna belch. It's okay. I'll just get that bit of drink over the. Oh, too late. Yeah, that, that's what does my head in about YouTube. It's, it's so, it's so much of that. Like the, the Twitch front page is all bikinis. Oh, we're getting rid of bikini streamers. By the way, hot tub streamers, totally different, totally different thing. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> Dad noises, it's okay. We get it, you're old. Oh, because babies never belch, right? Teenagers never belch. Everybody belches, it's got nothing to do with age. I think as you get older, you just care less. <laughs> <laughs> your filters start going you know it just doesn't matter anymore because you really you start to just really not give a shit what anyone thinks about yourself you know you're just like well, it doesn't matter what you think <laughs> you know, it's, it, that is the truth <laughs> I am tired though, I've got to say. We're, we're going to do this and then call it a night, I think. So not a very long stream tonight. I'll, I'll be on for longer tomorrow, I think. I don't have anything to do during the day much, so...
at certain ages, you are glad of any bowel movement. I'm okay. That side of things. Still, you know, get up in the morning, go. <laughs> Mind you, my diet's pretty good, you know. It's, it's reasonably a, hel a reasonably varied and healthy diet, so... Man, you know, I, I still piss like a pony, so that's good. <laughs> I really recently watched streams from a couple of female porn stars on Twitch. Like, porn stars famous for, oh right, hardcore, and they often have some of the most normally sane streams ever, often quite small too. Gaming, cooking, political debates. Yeah, they've, all, they've got nothing to lose, nothing to hide, nobody's going to come at them with anything. And, you know, they've worked a pretty... not an easy job to do, I can't imagine. Already warped away from Tam twice. God damn it. Gamma Repeater. Best keeper loot. Oh no. <laughs> Pained keep. Got a Gamma Repeater. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting into the need to pee four AM ages. I do if I've had some beer. You just get up and go and go back to bed and it doesn't... Oh no! I was here first! God damn it, game! I was fucking there before half the people there were there. Why select me? Not fair. <clears throat> it was a totally random selection there because I was there way before anyone else. Dead game, yeah. It's a dead game. It's a dead game. No one plays. There's never anyone online. All the play, ninety percent of the playfields of one percent of the population. It's like, well, isn't it funny that like, we're getting crowd controlled away from a bloody uh, world boss then? Because there's no one here, no one plays. What's that guy on Reddit? He's, he he only ever posts on the. Um, on the anarchy forums and he only ever posts the exact same thing maybe written slightly different twice you know what i mean <clears throat> it might have two different ways of writing it but basically it says the exact same thing each time on every new post and because they just have an auto downvote on him or he's got a downvote score by default rather than ban him so every time he comments on a post he just gets shoved to the bottom <laughs> instantaneously time is down that did not take long into the box I think I got a one-hand edge weapon. Yeah, I did. What did I get? Slayer droid notum into pubed claw. No drop. Yay. <laughs> Who wanted that? Sorry, it's no drop. Because of course it is. All my tunes are still here, says Shano. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you.
Right, I've got a new idea for the build. We're going to have piercing as well. <laughs> Could we do it? Could we do piercing? 1,000 sneak attack. 2,000 in piercing, though. I'm thinking no. It might be doable, actually. Would it be worth it, Mahalik? Break out the break out the spreadsheet. Trolled me as well. We got the guy generic shade. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No! Got the claw on my shade. Gratz pouch. Not feasible to use piercing on on a trader, no. Kind of looks like you could do it though. Worth it if Mediblade, maybe, but no, not on Trader. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we've got enough concealment to sneak anything in PVM anyway, is it? Right, I, I promised Mrs. Kalos too I'd take her to the shops within the hour, so let's have a look. Who else is streaming on Twitch? Anyone we know? Che is... Nave is playing Anarchy. Anyone else? Let's have a look. Me, Nave, and Wasteland City, I think. And George Glass with one viewer. What's Nave doing? Let's have a look. Iron Man Season 4. Yeah, we go raid Nave. Yeah, he's doing Iron Man. Yay. Yeah, we'll look into that. I will be back tomorrow, though. I'm waiting for his ads to do before I... <laughs> oh, there you go. Looks like they're in Sheol, by the look of it. Hot tubs. <laughs> I'm not dropping you on a hot tub stream. It will corrupt your minds. Right, have fun, everyone, and I will see you all for tomorrow. So thanks all for the resubs and the new follows. Very much appreciated. I will see you all tomorrow, and I will just say... Bye for now.